What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. We unboxed the Sprint HTC Evo 4G LTE Android phone in the previous video. Now it's time to measure its performance capabilities through a series of benchmark tests. Just a note before we begin, remember I always place the benchmark results in the description below for those of you who are short on time. Alright, let's start with the Quadrant app. And I'll hit run full benchmark. And while that's running, let me just give you a recap of the relevant specs we're working with here. Uh, it's got a 4.7 inch 720p HD Super LCD display, a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor, so that's Qualcomm's latest mobile chipset, uh, one gigabyte of RAM, and it's running Android 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich with HTC Sense 4.0 on the software side. All right, going up the stairs. Should get the planets now. Now the other benchmarks are much longer, so I probably won't uh, show you those running at full speed. Probably just have to fast forward through it and show you the results. All right, so here we go. You can see the HTC Evo 4G LTE is right up at the top with a score of 5,009. So it scored slightly higher than its uh, HTC One X brother there. They're pretty much similar devices. Of course, this depends on uh, whether the One X here is running the Tegra 3 processor or the same Snapdragon S4 processor. I'm not sure here. Under that we have the ASUS Transformer Prime TF201, of course that's running Tegra 3 and that's a tablet. And then we have a bunch of older devices down here. Uh, unfortunately it does not list the Galaxy S3 from Samsung, but you can see it's got a top notch score right there. So that is Quadrant. And next up let's run Antutu. Let that load up here. And we'll go to test, start test. Now this one's going to take a while, so I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. And it looks like the scores are in. So we have a total score of 7,066. The CPU ranked at 3,340. GPU 1,645. RAM 1,285. And then input output 796. I believe that's what it stands for. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie about that. So let's go ahead and go down here. I'll submit the score. And hopefully we'll be able to check out hold on maybe I'm supposed to go back ah there we go so we have the Samsung Galaxy S3 up at the top the HTC One X down there actually let me just go over here alright here we go so surprisingly the uh, Evo 4G LTE ranked kind of low here compared to the Transformer Prime and the Galaxy S3 you can see it still beats uh, the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy Nexus. Alright, this one's called CF Bench. It's by Chainfire, a well respected developer. So we'll run the full benchmark. And it looks like I'm going to have to speed up the video again so you can get those results. And we're back. Let's scroll down here check out the scores 
I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. All right, so here we have the Evo 4G LTE, the third one from the top. Uh, of course, the top is the Galaxy S3, and then we have the One X, which is a very similar device to this. Uh, so we have a native score of 12,664, 12, Java score of 7,531, and an overall score of 9,000. 584 and let me just zoom in on those scores in case you can't see that this one's called Vilamo and this is a little bit different because it actually benchmarks the web browsing performance so let's run that and see how it compares now I'm probably gonna have to uh, zoom through this as well as this is probably uh, the benchmark app that takes the longest out of all of them. And we're finally done here. So we got a score of 2,354. Let me go ahead and upload the results. All right, and now we can see how this device compares to some others out there. Wow, the font is very, very tiny here. I guess the app hasn't been optimized for 720p HD displays, but that's all right. Uh, you can see that the HTC Evo 4G LTE actually made it to the top of the list here. And just below it is the HTC One XL. Of course, those are both running off of the Snapdragon S4 processor. And then below that, which scored significantly worse, is the HTC One X. That may be the Tegra 3 processor, but I'm not sure because there is the model with the uh, Snapdragon S4 processor out in the States as well. Last but not least, we have the multi-touch test. I like to check out how many touch points the screen can recognize simultaneously. Of course, it's not a big deal as long as you have two points that can be recognized at once. You're all set with standard pinch to zoom uh, gestures and of course also with gaming uh, but sometimes there are apps out there that let you use more than two fingers uh, I find it interesting sometimes these manufacturers set restrictions on these devices I've seen devices that only recognize four points uh, a lot of them recognize ten let's see how the HTC Evo 4G LTE does Looks like I got nine there. All right, there we go, 10. You can see it starts out the first entry at zero. So if you go all the way down to nine, that equals 10. All right, guys, so that's how the HTC Evo 4G LTE fared in benchmarks. In the next video, we'll see how those numbers translate in terms of high-end gaming. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.